Welcome to 6.3's Math Moment. Today in fifth grade, students learn about writing word problems. So the one of the things we talked about today was taking a problem that was already given to them and having to write a situation to go along with it. So let's look at this first example. Write a word problem for this equation and then draw a model to show the quotient. So I've got 4 divided by 1 fourth. Okay, so I need 4 of something, so I'm just going to draw 4 cookies. Here are my 4 cookies, and I need to divide them into fourths. As you can see, I'm just simply drawing fourths. One of the things we've talked about in class quite a bit is thinking about something that can be divided easily. Things like food are very easily divided. Things like chairs or tables are not. People are not easily divided. So thinking about that your answer is reasonable. Food is always a good example of something that can be divided quickly. All right, so now it says that I need to go ahead, after I've shown my picture, now I need to go ahead and show that. So I'm going to say I've got my four, I'm divided into one fourth. So here is one fourth of each of my cookies. Now it says to write the word problem. I could say that Jessica has four cookies. She divides them into fourths. How many does she have? Well, when I think about this, when I think about this, I can go ahead and take a second and think how many fourths does she have? When I look at this, if I go ahead and solve this question, I have to go ahead and do my four, do my keep change flip with my normal division. So I'm going to do keep change and then I'm going to flip. And I've got 16 over 1. When I look at this, how many fourths does she have? Well, when I look at how many does she have, well, she's got 16 fourths from this example. So here is my um, model for my answer, and then here is my word problem to model what would go along with this. Again, remember, it's really easy to divide things like food or cookies or pizzas or pies that are easily divided. For example number two, it says write a word problem for the equation and draw a model to show the product. All right, when I look at this, I've got one-half times three-fifths. This looks like a simple multiplication of fractions problem, which just means I need to multiply the top times the tops, the bottoms times the bottom. So when I take one times three, I get three. When I take two times five, I get ten. Now, that's my answer to the problem, but I need to go ahead and show that in a picture form. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a box to show my one-half. I'm going to put some dots in here just to show this is my one half that I'm using from my problem. Then I need to take that times three fifths. So I'm going to take my box and I'm going to divide it into fifths. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. I've taken this, if I look going across, I've got my three fifths. Now I need to shade in my three over here that I've already used of my one half. So here's one two, and three. So I now have shown that I've got three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've shown a model now to show that I've got three out of ten. Now an appropriate example to go along with this might be that one half of a class likes pizza, three-fifths of those students like pepperoni pizza. Just keeping in mind that when your student is making up a scenario that it's appropriate to use with fractions. If you have any questions about today's lesson, make sure that you see your math teacher.